I love getting stuff in the mail. Don't you? Yeah. Got my son here with me. Got a couple things to show you. Pretty neat. Just started collecting Zippos. I've had them for a long time. But uh, I really started getting into it because I saw the Customize a Zippo feature on their website. So this is what I started out with. These are Walmart lighters right here. Walmart. Uh, this is Walmart. That's right. Yeah, this yeah, one, Walmart. this is my uh, everyday carry right here that I carry around with me all the time. Uh, this one I don't really carry around. In fact, I don't even think I've ever lit, uh, lit it. I think yeah, I don't think it. so. No, the yeah. wick looks brand new on it. So, but that's okay. This one right here, I usually take, I'm a cigar guy. So it does have a Thunderbird insert. It's got a torch and a soft flame on it. Let's see it. Wow. Isn't that neat? Yep, it can be torch and then it can be a just a normal got, fire. And starter. then it's got the soft flame on it. That's for cigars. That way you can toast the foot of the cigar and then light it with a soft flame. I do like this one. Although this Thunderbird insert I had to send in for repairs when I first bought it, it uh, failed on me. Started leaking gas out for absolutely no reason. Uh, Thunderbird did repair it though. I had to send $5 for return yeah, shipping. That kind of sucks. Nah, that's, that's okay good. though. Yeah, because so. you, you still have a great looking lighter that does great cool things. Exactly. This one right here, I uh, just bought this case off of eBay. I believe it's a 205 uh, brushed chrome. Add an extra insert, so I just uh, threw it in there. It was five bucks off eBay. How can you go wrong $5. with that? Five dollars. Five dollars? Yeah, five exactly. dollars. Exactly. I did get a couple newbies this week, though. Uh, this one right here, vintage. A vintage? This is a, a vintage. Does it, is it supposed to look vintage or is it actually vintage? It is a 260 vintage high polished chrome lighter. I think this was a model after the 1930s, it says. Okay, so it's a one that's made newly recently but looks vintage. Exactly. Okay. I and see. I do like the high polished chrome, but look at it. I barely touched it and that sucker just got fingerprints all over it, right? All over it? Yeah, it's all over it. All over the lighter. So, but that's, that's kind of not new. why we're here, is it, Chris? Yeah, brand new one. This is my brand new one. So I saw on Zippo.com that you can customize lighters. Now, I made a couple designs. I submitted them, and they were rejected. And I was like, why are they getting rejected? Well, apparently Zippo's got a very, very high uh, standard of what you can put on a lighter. No there, Ghostbusters. No Ghostbusters logos, apparently. Uh, yeah, no, <laughs> no Ghostbusters logo that looks extremely scary. Yeah, you know what? I had a I had a logo, and it was it had a Ghostbuster logo in it, but it had the state of Nevada. That's where I live in Nevada. Uh, Battleborn State. It was pretty cool. The uh, the no ghost symbol uh, was actually blue instead of red. It had it all designed up. Uh, and they rejected it. They said no. That no is go. not how we do stuff here. Yeah, so I did send in two more. Uh, one of them will be here this later in the week. We're going to call that the COVID-19 lighter. Uh, when I get it in, I'll show it to you guys. But this was my lighter that they had accepted finally. And uh, we're going to show it to you. Because I, I, I've looked everywhere on YouTube. And I can never find any of the custom lighters people make off of the Zippo.com. So here it is. This is my D Rod Championship Leather Zippo. So I do uh, some leather work on the side for championship belts. I haven't done it in a while, but I do have a logo. I do have a stamp, and I wanted to get made into a lighter. So it does come in the case like this. It says customize inside the case. And it's actually really nice on the lighter. Could you light it? Does it have any? No, this in it? I haven't opened it. I still have the sticker on it. Yeah, warning: do not put in put, put do not put near children who are under the age of smart. Don't put it near children with a curly hair. <laughs> yeah. And uh, this is going to be my everyday carry lighter now. But I, I kind of wanted to see what the quality was and show other people what the quality was with their customization uh, app that they have on their website. And it is pretty darn good. Like it's, it's just like any other, it's just it's like not this like one. A sticker. No, it's, it's not. not. It's very nice. Not a sticker. It's just like this one. 
I, I don't know what their process is of putting on as a silk screening or, or, or some kind of uh, ink printing. No one knows. <laughs> I'm sure we can Except find out. Except for Zippo, probably. Yeah. But I am going to put a double torch butane insert into it, and it's going to be my uh, everyday carry from this point forward. These are very nice inserts, by the way, oh, even yeah. though they are made in China, you know, but that's that's okay. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's, it's it doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Well, it, it look good. I wish, sound good. You know, I wish they were made in the United States, just like the Zippos, but they are not. They, for some reason, outsource them to China, probably cheaper to make. That's over why there. they do China. Like, apparently. Kind of disappointing, but they are very well built, high quality Zippo standard. Uh, so that's going to go into yeah. this one right here. And that's so thumbs up it is a thumbs up yeah i just made that up so there we go that is a customized zippo lighter my first one from their website and quality top notch let's see how it wears maybe we'll do a video later uh with the wear on it see how bad it gets beat up i don't tear them apart throw them around or anything so as long as i don't drop it <laughs> i guess we'll be okay so yeah. as long as you don't lose it Oh, don't say that. <laughs> this, was, this was kind of expensive. So. Oh, well, yeah. Just remember, don't open them on video because, you know, um, I'm pretty sure they've trademarked that noise. You might get sued for Oh, yeah. Let's not, them. let's not open them. Uh, they do have the, uh, the patent for, for the sound, noise. and I don't want to get dinged. So, there you go. That right there is a custom Zippo lighter. So, let's just zoom in a little bit. Show it off. So if you are thinking Ooh. about getting one made up, yeah. there it is. <laughs> Ooh. My son is very much into lighters also. Unfortunately, he's still a little too young to have his own, but he likes to look at dad's collection and hang out. So it's all right. So there we go. I don't know what I'm doing. That's A-OK. -okay. All right, you wanna say bye, Chris? Bye, bye, um, bye. Subscri don't, subscribers. Don't, don't say subscribbles, please. Okay. I beg you. <laughs> All right. Bye, subscribers to this channel Peace that out. I don't own. Have a good day.